All right, our final section in chapter six, 6.3 is called circles and the coordinate plane. Before we get started, let's recall the distance formula from earlier in the year, I think chapter one. The distance between two points in a coordinate plane is written as distance equals big square root sign, x minus x squared plus y minus y squared. All right, before we get into anything new today, we're gonna to practice that twice. So we're going to practice, find the distance between points A and D. So we'll call it AD, big square root sign. Now remember, it doesn't matter which X comes first, okay? So I'm going to do negative 3 minus 6 squared plus, now because I chose negative 3 first, I have to choose his partner, negative 2 minus 2 squared. And then I just simplify this. So it's negative nine squared plus negative four squared, which is 81 plus 16, which is root 97. So AD is equal to the root 97. If you want an approximation for that, you can put that in your calculator, which is 9.849. All right, I would like you to try the second one there. So go ahead and pause the video, try the second one, come back when you're ready. All right, here's the answer for the second problem. You should got root 25, and of course the square root 25 is five. All right, so a lot of the problems today, what we're going to do is I will do one with you and then ask you to stop and try the second one on your own, kind of like we did here in the opener. But before we do that, let's learn the equation of the circle. So the equation of the circle is based on the distance formula we just used and the fact that all points on a circle are equidistant from the center. Okay, so here is your distance formula. Now all I'm going to do is change the letter D to an R for radius and the put these two points and these two points in for x and y. So x minus x, which is x minus h, and then y minus y, which is y minus k, and then I get this equation here. And if I square both sides, I get this equation right here. And this is the equation of a circle in a coordinate plane. And you're gonna see every time we go to a new slide today, I'm gonna to have that written down at the top of the slide. It's a really important equation. It's something we need to know. So I'm gonna keep writing it down as we go through this. Okay, so there's your equation in the circle with center, h, k, and radius, r. So there's my equation right there. So example one says write the equation of the circle. So we need two things. We need a center and we need a radius. Look what our problem gives us. A center and a radius. That's it, we're pretty much done. All we gotta do is put our numbers in where they belong. So it's gonna be x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals radius squared. And that's pretty much it. All you gotta do is clean that up a little bit, which gives us x plus two squared plus y minus five squared equals 16. And that is our equation of the circle. Pause the video and please try problem 1B. Here's the answer you should have came up with for problem 1B. Now notice I just have x squared by itself. That's because you should have written, hopefully, x minus zero squared. And x minus 0 is, of course, just x. Problem 2, write the equation of a circle. So again, we need a radius and a center. We have the center, so that's good. But we don't have the radius. So we have to find the radius. How do we find the radius? Just like we did in the opening slide. We're going to use a distance formula. So the radius equals 
x minus x squared plus y minus y squared. That's 5 squared plus 12 squared, which is 25 plus 144. Which is root 169, and that's actually a whole number, so that's good. The radius is 13. So now we have our center, we have a radius, we can put these right into our equation for a circle. So remember, for the equation circle, it's x minus the x coordinate of the center squared plus y minus the y coordinate of the center squared equals radius squared. Cleaning that up, we get x minus 1 squared plus y plus 8 squared equals 169. Once again, pause the video and please try problem 2b. There's the answer you should have got for problem 2b. You should have got your radius equals 4. And substituting everything in and cleaning it up, you should have got x minus 2 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals 16. All right, example 3. Now we're going to graph a circle in the coordinate plane. So what we're going to do is you're going to identify the center, you're going to identify the radius, and then draw a graph. And once again, just like we've been using, here is the equation of a circle that we'll need. So this one, it looks a little tricky, but it's actually easier than normal. In order to get x squared, h would have to be 0. In order to get y squared, k would have to be 0. So my center is 0, 0. For the radius, I know that r squared equals 16, so r must be 4. Okay, the radius is never negative, so always positive. We do the square root. Okay, so let me just draw a circle. So how do we do that? Plot the center at 0, 0, and then go 4 up, 4 right, 4 down, and 4 left. And connect the dots. Now try to make it look like a circle. Nice thing about notability is it'll do it for you. So there's your circle. Please pause the video and try problem 3b. Okay, there's your answer for problem 3b. Center of 0, 0, radius of 9, and there's your big circle. Let's take a look at example four. We're going to graph circles again, but this time they're not going to be centered at the origin. Okay, so remember the center is always the opposite of these numbers here. So my center is at positive three, negative four. I know r squared equals nine, therefore my radius is three. So I'm going to plot the point three, negative four. And from there, I'm going to go up 3, right 3, down 3, and left 3. And there's my circle. One more time, pause the video here and try 4B. Here are your answers for problem 4B. Center at negative 1, 2 radius of 6, and a circle. So the last slide is just four extra practice problems, one of each of the problems we did today. Please stop here, work on those four problems, and once you have finished all four, you can come back and check your answers on the video.
Here are your answers to the final four problems. And that will do it for section 6.3 and for chapter 6 in general. If you have any questions, as always, you can let me know.